Hey everybody, it's Casey the Rockstar Flipper. Today is April the 26th, 2016. And uh, today's video, we're going to focus on something a little different. I don't do that often, but that is the Salvation Army stores. Uh, a lot of you have those stores near you, the family stores. Uh, it is a glorified thrift shop. Uh, they do have very good deals. Now, today is Tuesday, which typically you guys know that I go on Wednesdays because the thrift store at the Salvation Army is open Wednesdays for 50% off of pretty much everything in the store. So it, it makes sense to go on a Wednesday to get half off of your total purchase. Saves you a lot of money, makes you more profit. Now the reason I went today is because on Tuesdays near the end of the day, around 3, 4 o'clock as it gets later in the day, they start stocking the store for, um, for Wednesday sale. So at Tuesday afternoon, you can find really, really good stuff on the shelves. You're going to pay full price, but you get the pick of the litter basically. So I like to go on Tuesday afternoons, get the best items, pay full price, and then go back Wednesday and buy everything that might be, you know, at half price, and any new stuff they brought out Wednesday morning. So I went today, which was Tuesday afternoon, and, uh, and I spent $34, and I basically challenged myself to buy as much as I could in 30 minutes. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of 30 minutes of, of purchasing, and essentially this stuff shouldn't take more than 30 to 45 minutes to list. And if you combine all of the, uh, the time of buying it, listing it, and then shipping it once it sells, all of these items is about two hours of work. So I wanted to see what we could make in two hours of work at the Goodwill store. So we spent $34. I cut myself short at 30 minutes. So um, I bought 12 regular men's t-shirts for $12, right? or for $2 each, so $24. So you guys know I go after those um, those shirts. So I'm going to show you a few of these um, cheaper ones. So this is just a regular Hollister shirt, California Hollister. It's really bright black. It's in great, great condition. This is probably a quick sell at nine or ten bucks, and we should make about a four dollar profit. We should net around six on that. And that's what most of these shirts are. They're net five to six, profit three to four dollars. Um, an American Eagle shirt, again, good graphics, good condition, nine dollars. American Eagle shirt. Always look for the Hollister, the Abercrombie. All sell very good. Air is a little slow, be careful on that. But uh, the rest of them sell pretty good. Um, Hurley shirts, another brand that you should look for. Great graphics on this Hurley shirt. They still sell for nine dollars. Nine dollar sale is like a net of like five fifty. So you make you know three dollars and fifty cent profit on a two dollar purchase. These are our smalls, these are our fillers, don't forget. I only did a 30 minute run. This is a cool, neat, unique shirt. It's a, a Muhammad Ali t-shirt, and it's got a little guy that says flip like a butterfly, spin like a bee, Ali power, and he's fighting a bigger guy. So I think this might be a 10 to 12 dollar shirt. Might be a little better on that. The little kids Marvel shirt usually these sell for about eight nine bucks. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, this is another early graphic shirt. Really good. Eight nine dollar shirt. Um, this is a Scooby Doo. This is one of my novelty shirts. Usually these sell for about seven dollars. I couldn't pass that. What stays in the van? What happens in the van stays in the van. It's cute. It's novelty, we love that kind of stuff. You guys know I pack my story guys. So. Um, this is a Billabong, another brand that sells really good. Nine, ten dollar shirt. Kind of simple graphics in there. Um, this is a Mustang shirt. Car shirts, Corvette shirts, Mustang shirts, uh, Harley shirts. All that stuff sells really, really good. I'll get ten bucks for this right away. I'll put this in nine ninety nine, this will sell for nine ninety nine. So Mustang shirt. Um, another novelty shirt, Jurassic World. I think it's probably a $7 shirt. Um, this tap out, you guys know, MMA shirt, so really good, nine ten dollars shirt. And the last one we picked up was probably the most unique and probably I hope it the most. This is the Michael Jackson shirt. I intend on missing this for about 15 So, assuming that this shirt sells for 15 we can pretty much guess that my $24 should turn into about $60. So, $36 cost. On those. Then we have purchased a few higher end shirts, which are a New York City Skyline Express shirt. And I paid, you guys can see this, I paid $3 for it, $2.99. It's a little marked out, but $2.99, I paid $3. I think that this being a better brand, Express, with the content, is a $15 shirt. So I think I can net around, not $12, not $12. And all that on So, that kind of content is really good. You guys know I really, really love 
Large, so size. Most of you guys are size. It seems like the large size is selling fast. It's a great shape. I think it's going for 16, 18 dollars. So, another 10, 12 dollar profit. So, we're up to around 45, 50 bucks a profit. And the last one I got was a Donald J. Trump. I paid five for this one. This is just a really good one of the J-Trump series. Just show you guys what I've done. It's a good neutral blue color. It's in good shape. 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 The beach shirts are really good. And right now Donald Trump is hot. So that's a good piece of shirt. It's going to pick up about $15 to $18. So I would guess we made about a good amount of respect. Before we probably are going to sell it for around 100, 120, so we'll make about 60 to 70 dollars. Two hours of work, total 30 minutes of buying, two hours of work, 70 dollars. Call it a 35 dollar overall profit. And that was limiting ourselves, 30 minutes. Imagine if we stayed all day in thrift stores. You know, if most people can make 35, 40 dollars a day, um, they'd be pretty happy for two hours of work. 70 dollars for two hours of work. Most people are there. They can make seventy dollars a day. It's twenty one hundred dollars a month if you do it every single day. That was just two hours. Thirty minutes to buy it, get yourself home, list it, and it's how it takes to ship it. So you can do that, call it three times to be safe for a day. You should be able to make two hundred dollars a day in that day. So six thousand dollars a month. So if you tell me you can't do it, I'm gonna tell you you can. That's how easy it is, and that was our shopping trip to the Salvation Army day on Tuesday. I'm gonna get some more videos up for you. Oh, you guys are going to work on it for a good enough tonight. And, uh, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, or anything that you buy from the Saturday show, write on down there. You guys know where to be. And uh, we'll see a couple of videos out for you. Make sure to check us out on social media. I'll put the links to the videos there. Uh, and you can follow us and keep up with our daily uh, purchasing. I usually take pictures of stuff when I'm on the uh, on social media. So we'll see you there. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you later.